Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What are we talking about today? Tinting car windows. Surprisingly, I don't just bowl out there and try and have a go. I do read the instructions. Now, unlike when I did the dash cam, um, they were in a different language, not going to do any uh, examples. Um, you couldn't read anything, and it was place wire B to earth wire F and rubbish. Anyway, so, I got these from another eBayer. Um, and it says all pre-cut for your Mini. So I typed in Mini R56, which mine is, 2007, 2013. They're all pre-cut, blah, blah, blah. Then I read this, and there's a lot here. And it says you've got to put on the, clean the outside of the window, clean the inside of the window. Then you've got to put it on the outside of the window. You've got to trim it all round, take it off, try and put it on. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought, well, not what I thought I brought. So... I then think maybe I should have a look at these because I'm not expecting great things if I've got to do that lot. So I took the instructions out because they were on the top. So what do we get? Oh wow, this is not going to be good then, is it? If this is just one very, very large. Yeah, I'll put that there. Very, very large. Uh, oh, oh no, wait. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh well, look at that. Now that is pre-cut. So this is the shiny side, that is the bit that comes off. That, oh wow, okay. This is good. <clears throat> that's the back window, perfectly. So if that's the back window, let's roll this up a little bit. And let's see. See, I thought for a minute there it was gonna be just one bit. Oh no, it's not, look at that. And that's the side window. Right, I'm not going to roll it out much more in here because it's not the cleanest of sideboards. I was making salmon this morning. Um, that, I stand corrected. Yeah. And that will come off there. So, I'm still going to clean the inside and outside. But it looks like to me now, these are pre-cut, just like he said. So this is, this is what's wrong, not the advertiser on eBay. Thank you so much. And this is then just a pre one that you'd have bought the old stuff. I think that's what I did many, many years ago. I bought one for, Christ, we had loads of kids then. Still kids now, I don't mean that literally. I just mean that the kids were young then. I think I had a Galaxy, and I bought some of this crap, and you put it on, and it went on until the bottom, and then you tried to cut it, and it splits when you cut it. No matter how sharp a knife you use, you need one of those like, professional scalpels, I reckon. But I've got the old snap-on ones, and they just don't seem to go very well at all. Um, just after doing the decals on the car, they were all right for that, but I wouldn't have liked them to do it for these because it's very thin. Now, I'm assuming you need your good old wife's water bottle still. She will get it back, she's just rolling her eyes there. Um, a little bit of washing up, maybe, maybe not so much because that looks like it's quite frothy. I might change that. Just a little bit of water then, and the same squidgy is going to squidge that out. I will try the side windows first. Um, I'm going to get in the back and do that. And what I might do with this one is put the seats down, get it off with my hands, uh, spray the window. Uh, I might <laughs> spray the window, get in the back, let the wife shut the door on me, and then push it in that way until I get started, and then maybe have a go at it. Because what I don't want to do is try doing it up in the air. You want it flat, and the water will go down, won't it? So I'll have a go at that. I'll work that in my head when we get out there. But there we go, a quick look at it. Again, um, there's loads on eBay. Check the right car, the right one, and make sure that it says they're pre-fit. And if this goes well, then really happy. Right, let's start cleaning the windows. So like a lot of things, <laughs> I guess it just comes down to me winging it. So I've got some clean paper towels. Still bloody windy outside, it's really peeing me off. Every time I get a damn camera, <laughs> you're in here. So I'm gonna clean the inside of the window with this Auto gleam glass. I've had that set for ages. So give it a really good clean. And then I'm gonna water it but and, and just have a go. Um just shows doesn't it it needs doing as well because that would have been underneath the glass. So let's put another one of them on there. You can never clean too much, can you? So it showed when we first looked at it, well it looked like it, they're all pre-cut. Um, and I said I sort of winged things, I know. I'm not too, they were 26 quid. That's a lot cleaner. They were 26 pounds. And if I muff it up, I muff it up. I think 
they charge like a hundred pounds to come out and do it um, so worst case scenario I don't quite get it right and I ain't gonna do it <laughs> it's not into the world so I'm gonna pre-cut the pre-cut out <laughs> makes any sense I'm gonna <laughs> the lines I see I'm gonna cut around it and then I'm gonna peel it off and I'm gonna spray water in here and then plop it on and squidge it out like I did the decals. So I might as well give that a clean. Oh, that's the water. Give this one a nice little clean. Sticky little fingerprints and so on in here. Who knows? This is good stuff. Yeah, it's dirty. I'm hoping these ones will be quite easy. Well, good access for the rear window. It's not bad, that one. For this window, because they're in the way, I think I might drop the seats and then I'm just going to take them off, take that out of the way, and then I'm going to push it on like I said. Now, can you hear that? Heated back windscreen. I don't know how it works with these. I don't know how it works with the heating on with it damage them looks like there's a bit of dirt on there yeah so let me clean that one and then let's uh let's get on with cutting them out oh probably not the best place to cut them but anyway i'm a bit tacky let's have a look again that was the rear window rear window i'm gonna cut you know i'm sort of tempted to get carried away oh. cutting That you probably don't know. I was a stock car. I'm guessing some of you are thinking, what on earth is a stock car? I used to cut cloth. I did it for three years. Um, trousers and stuff like that. Now, that really probably isn't a good idea putting it on here. Now I'm coming to think about it because there's bits on here. But anyway, I will clean it and get it working right. I used to be able to just, I'm not going to do it here, but you can get a sweet spot in a pair of scissors and you can just run it through. But being this stuff is uh, quite, huh, what's the word I'm after? Anyway, there's a window. Hard thing to work out is which side that's going to go on. So that's going to go on, uh, you take it off, so now it's sticky. So it goes on the window at the back. So that is that window, so this one, be this side window I remember when you walk in there it's as it is so that'll be the front so that is definitely that side and this one is the one i'm after oh so then we're going to work out to cut across here cut across here and then see how it picks up Let's see oh yeah it does just peels off that way that's what i know now that will go on that window over there on the car you know what I'm going to say. So, get a whole new window out of that. Right, let's prepare the window and then have a go. So remember, this is what the car looks like now. Just clear glass. Just clear glass and clear glass. I said, it's got the back bit, so that'll go that way. And then we're going to squidge it out. Right, so let's get my squidgy, wet the window and get ready. It says you need a blade, so got one just in case famous squidgy nice and clean and a cloth that is clean so water hmm. not very spray is it <sighs> I don't know if it's going to work or not just wipe the side it's not swaying I think give it a go Right, I already fouled because this is really bitchy. Really, really bitchy. Oh, it's wanker. <laughs> Clearly it needs cutting. But uh, I think I already fouled because as I tried to peel it off, I've got like a crease. I'm really not happy with that. 
and it just sort of creased up as I did it. Oh, this is not, no. This is shit. There's no word for it. This is exactly what I thought it wouldn't do. And it does. So, okay, I think I've massively failed here. Everybody, don't try this at home. Yeah, it looks like shit. Oh, God. Okay, I didn't do very well at all. I don't know how you're supposed to do it then. It just looks like it just creases up everywhere. Crap. Massive, massive failure. Once you get these little creases, little lines in it, they're fucked. You can't get them out. I mean, there's not really any bubbles in there. I've done a good job of getting the bubbles out, but it just seems to, I don't know, stick to itself. Once there's a little crease in there, that's it, you are knackered. I mean, I was actually quite impressed, I suppose, once I got all the air out of it. Now, it even creased, even when I um, pulled it off the backing, it creased straight away. So absolutely no idea how you're supposed to do a good job of this. And the outside, you can see all these lines. I'm going to show you how bad it looks in a second. Uh, I'm really unimpressed. I am shit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do that window. If that comes the same way, well, I really, really wanted the back window done. Very unimpressed. Bugger. I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to get these little lines out. I don't know if you can eat up, maybe. Get the hair dryer in there. It's just like a little crease, you just can't get rid of it. Once it's creased, it's folded, that's it, you're buggered. You know? Ah, oh, that's, that's really, really disappointing. I didn't know how it was gonna go. And, I'm shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm laughing, I'm angry. Let's have a look outside. A little corner, but look, these lines. Oh, it's just horrible. No, no, and no. That's not the look I was looking for, is it? You know, the majority is okay, but I mean, how do you get them out? I'm gonna try some heat, maybe. It couldn't have gone much worse. I had the bottle on spray. No. I had the bottle on stream and not spray, so it didn't go right. Um, the wind caught me as I walked out the door. This one's doing exactly the same, it just creases. And once you get a crease, you can't get the crease out. It's a windy day. Fucking shit. It's just not gone right. It's not gone right at all. I don't know why, I just thought I'd fucking carry on. Um, really upset, to be honest with you. This is going exactly the same way. It's gonna crease everywhere. I used a lot more water on this one, admittedly rather than the last one, but you can just tell it's, it's not going right. I can see it creasing already. I don't know why it's just, I mean, it's the right size for the window. And there's a crease, and once you get a crease in it, oh, that's horrible. I don't want to film this. This is going to be absolutely disgusting. Uh, bollocks. Just shows it doesn't go right every time. So my advice, get professional for under quid. <laughs> I used a lot more water and I sprayed the actual plastic as well on this one. And I took it off and I did it the old fashioned sideways rather than downwards, which I was trying. Um, until I walk outside, I can't tell how bad this is. Oh God, it just doesn't. I don't think it's going right at all. I'm not impressed with this at all. And <laughs> If, if this one works out well, I might try, I might try and cut one out of shape, take that off and have another go at it, because enough of there. And I, what I can't do is have one side that goes really well, and the other side that's completely crap. Um, but it's my first ever, ever, ever attempt properly putting on pre-cut one, rather than the crap one I did years ago, as I said, on the back of a Galaxy. 
which didn't use water, I just slapped it on and thought I was clever. I really wasn't. Do you know what? From first thoughts, I haven't been on the outside yet, from first thoughts that this was going to be really bad, I hadn't creased this one, luckily enough. I mean, the wind blew it and it touched each other, and I'm thinking, no! But, from this, there's no creases at the bottom like that one was. <sighs> I mean, come on, you just don't know. No one ever knows what you're going to be like at something until you've done it. Um, and I've left the window on the outside purposefully wet so I can wipe and I can do a reveal. Woohoo! But it hasn't gone well as far as I'm concerned. see if I can get any water out of the bottom bits then. I know there's water there, I can hear it. Right, stay with me and let's have a look on the outside. So sort of the reveal. Um, yeah, lines at the bottom. But you know what? Not as many as the other side. So a little bit there, 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 there. That one's not as bad. I felt these ones here. Uh, I'm surprised it isn't a lot worse to be honest with you. It's not brilliant, is it? Line there, looks like. But, 30 or 40 windows later, maybe an expert at it. It's horrid. So unimpressed. Don't know what you expect sometimes to do something. Creases at the bottom, can't you? And then there. Look, you've got to give it a go. It's as simple as that. You've got to give it a go. Now, get this all out the way, do the back window. I mean, the day, it's not end of the world. Hey, a quick pick and it will come off again and no one even knows I did it, except you know, a few viewers that watch my channel. Um, but that's, that's the only way, that's the only thing you can do is, is the only way you get better at things or know if you can do something is give it a go. Like I said, for 26 pounds, it's not bad. I'd have been very upset if I'd have, uh, I've been very upset, I think, if I'd have paid like 100 quid for this and then muffed up myself, I'd be very upset. But for £26.99, it's not a bad attempt. Right, back window next. So, the only thing that can make this better is the fact the wife brought a cup of tea. Bugger me, it's hard. Uh, come out with this one, you can hear the wind straight away, nearly pushed it all together. So, so we'll do this fucking wind. scratches and not as bad as that one probably so I've got someone else cameraman what do you think cameraman uh, for a first try there's just nothing I can do with that I, mean, I can probably get a little bit more air out of them these bits I look around the other side This one is better, I can probably push a bit more water out here, second attempt. Uh, the back window. Oh dear. So they should push out, this lot should push out, but they're not, they're creases. I don't know. I'm getting the fucking thing now. Give them all the key. Does it, does it make it look more tackier? Or does it make it look like some twats just tried to tint these windows and done a bad job of it? I don't know. See, this little bugger is not coming in. I mean, as the water the moisture goes, I will be able to push it out more. I mean, I had to have the moisture in there to be able to stick it on, otherwise it would just been an aero bubble, which would be absolute crap. Don't know what to do now. Shall I take it off? Or should I just quit squidging it out and seeing how it goes? Does it make the motor look worse now I've tried to do this? You know, rather than have them on. I mean, in the day, it's a bit like light pollution. You know, oh God, the world's doomed. Someone switched off the light. Oh, it's almost better now. 
you know, this is not permanent. I can just pick this off and take the lot off. So it's not ruined a car per se. I could leave it on there for me, and if I want to sell the car, take it off. Or the new owner might go, that's crap, and then peel it off themselves. So it's not end of the world. Pretty much like my decals, they're not gonna damage the car. This one I got Camden Edition bit on it rather than Cooper S or Mark Savage. Not that I wear jumpers at all with my name on it. <laughs> well, cameraman's very quiet. <coughs> Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep trying to get a bit more out of it. I don't think the hairdryer does anything. I really don't. I think I'm just gonna keep wiping it and see if I can just push oh, them out. Turn off, died. Huh? Died. It's not, it's still working. You can't see the camera anymore, but it's still Ow. working. As long as the flashy lights there. I just can't decide. I don't think the hair dryer is doing anything. Maybe it's just getting rid of the moisture afterwards. Oh look, you can see it there. So maybe that's creasing up as well. Definitely moisture. I'm gonna blow around it, wipe it all up, and then come back and have a look, tell me what you think. Thank God for a cup of tea. I'm gonna let it warm. It's been suggested by my cameraman. Thank that you. I should uh, let it warm a little bit because I'm, I'm pushing now and I'm, I'm damaging it. What we've got here is they are water. Down here is water. This is water. And they're creases. I just can't decide. I mean, it's the desired look I wanted. Tint it down a bit. This window is... I'm left with what I'm left with. I might be able to get two little bits out of here and maybe that bit there. This is my best one. A um, little bit there. A little bit here. Um, that's probably my best window, which I'm quite well impressed with, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to overwork the area, kind of that can damage it more. I'm just going to let it settle for a little while, then come out and see if I can push these out. Um, yes, I think it's £200 to get five windows done, quarter panel windows and so on. So £27 to get this done um, isn't that much of a loss, you know, if it's crap. And there's enough on there that I could take that one off and if I could cut it out properly, just mimic it and stick it on again. Maybe I might get it like the other side there. And the rear one, though difficult, I could probably do that again. So this has been a trial. I mean, today that's what my lot of videos are. Just trial and error, give it a go. You know, I'd be more paid for 75 pound if this had turned out crap, because that's a bit of money. I had a bit more confidence in that. Um, with this, not so much confidence because I did it many, many years ago really badly. This is the first time I tried it with the water and I thought it'd be like the decals. If it had been maybe a better quality, maybe a thicker quality, it might have gone on better. I don't know what the professionals use or whether it's the thinner the better. Um, I, I don't know. Um, maybe that's what, why I'm already at a loss. Maybe because it's a thin one um, that I've got it wrong. Um, I couldn't see cutting air, heating it on the back of here, because they're already pre-cut. And yes, this has got a little bit of a taper to it, and that's maybe what's causing these. I'll give it a go. And as I said, if it doesn't work out, I can just peel it off. You know, it's a light switch. Turn it off, take it off. It's not ruined the car. It's not like I've cut a hole for the exhaust or something like that. So, I'll have a quick look in a bit, and then I think I have to make a mind up whether to leave it on or take it off. But there was no cutting needed, it just all flipped behind quite nicely. So, let's have a look in an hour. So, this is the big bit I've got. And the consensus seems to be now from the family that maybe I should have just gone in the car and peeled it off as the decals do, peeled it back off. Um, I don't know, I mean, you know, I mean, this is big enough now for me to fold that over and then copy exact same size it was. Maybe have another go at it. But I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, um, see if I can get any more creases out, and then have a look, and I may just peel the fucking thing off. There's only one window went well. What I want to see is someone fucking laughing at me. What's funny? You're crap. Is that general consensus? First time. Right. Second <laughs> I'll, I'll give you it. <laughs> Family, who have one? <laughs>
Don't get this one in my fucking shed. You're all right. Stop laughing. Right. Yeah. Let's have a go. Right. Back outside. Let's have a look what it looks like. There. There. It's an hour later. And unfortunately, they're no different. Now, there's enough there to redo the whole lot again. So not a total waste of 26 quid. Maybe a local YouTuber that does window tints and contact me and say, Mark, I'll do it for you, mate. It's Christmas. Yay. See you come out. Or maybe not. I can't decide whether to leave them on. If I leave them on too long, will they... Uh, you off? Yep. You're golfing jazz off anyway. I can't decide whether if I leave them on longer, they're even harder to get off. But I am very unimpressed. I've marked them as well, I think, personally. Well, I've been trying to get them out. So, last look around and you can agree or disagree what I should do. That window did not go as well as I wanted it to. That window went very well. And I could probably push them out a little bit more. And the back window, which everybody sees, is just pretty crap. I've tried, it's not going. It might be because I didn't heat it. It might be because I didn't peel it off inside there. It might be because I used too much water. There's so many mites. I don't know. But it was worth a go. <sighs> it's crap, in it? <laughs> as I said, it's not a complete waste because I could recut them out could do it myself again have another go I think I'm actually gonna just leave it um, I think it ruins the car ever so slightly most certainly this window here does um, you know it looks like a dodgy old work van now rather than my yummy little mini that I've made look nice with all the other bits what do you think put the comments below tell me what I did wrong and if it's I bought cheap shit then I bought cheap shit if it's I did it completely wrong because there's some window people out there that do this for a living and they know you know I'm hoping you'll say it's just poor quality or that in fact I did it on the floor I mean I didn't get any hairs or anything there I must admit should I have done what it said put on the outside and heat it all so it sort of patterns itself in maybe that's what it is because it is slightly concaved on the back window and the sides on so that's maybe what it is I don't know she comes in. yes yes <laughs> I left, left, I left you, jump. you left a cup outside okay. and they look shit. Take them off. Go back outside. Just Hang on, what? let me put this in. <laughs> ah, is that an honest opinion from the wife? Look. Crap. Shit, Crap. shit, Crap. shit. Crap. Right. Crap. Yep. Crap. Yep. Crap. Yep. 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 Even my good one's crap. This one's the better one, but they're all crap. To be fair, they just look like they've been on there for like 30 years or something. Bye. Fucking brutal. No, hold it. I suppose there's nothing more honesty and brutal than a wife, I suppose. So you're saying I should just... You want proper stuff, get someone proper to do it, maybe. <laughs> Is that not enough for you? I think I'll do it again. Mind you, the way you screwed that up is quite cheap and crap. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I can't tell whether it's cheap or crap or not. This is what I'm asking you to do. So what, just get both windows off? Yes, please. Wow. Brutal. This is what I want to say, it's like, um, you can't even get it off. <laughs> Don't fall in. Ta da! <laughs> Bollocks! Ain't my best one! No, fuck it, I'm leaving that one on. No, I'm leaving that one on. That's my best one. That tiny little bit there. Oh, God. 
can't even get in the bloody car. Don't say Jackie Mo. Jackie Mo's not the fact I can't squeeze out of a mini, is it? <sighs> Bollocks, now I've got to wipe the windows down, I suppose, you know. Alright, didn't go well. <laughs> Light sharing. <laughs> She's laughing. Can't leave one on, can I, I suppose? <laughs> Still angry. Thanks for watching. Wasting my time. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>